Page 70 Unit 11 Little Red Riding Hood Listen and follow the text. Once upon a time, a little girl lived with her mother near a deep dark forest. Her name was Little Red Riding Hood because she always wore a red hood. Little Red Riding Hood's grandmother lived in the middle of the forest. She visited her granny every Monday and loved her very much. One Monday morning, her mother said, Your grandmother is unwell. Let's bake her some chocolate chip cakes. So Little Red Riding Hood helped to bake some chocolate chip cakes. Then her mother put them in a basket and said, Now, take the cakes to your granny, but don't stop in the wood. Stay on the path or you'll meet the big bad wolf. Little Red Riding Hood went outside with her basket of cakes. She walked along the path to her grandmother's house. The sun was shining and the birds were singing. But did she stay on the path? No, she didn't. She went into the trees. She wanted to pick some flowers for her grandmother. As soon as she was in the trees, she saw the big bad wolf. He was looking out of a hole in the ground. Where are you going, little red riding hood? growled the big bad wolf with an unfriendly smile. I'm going to see my grandmother, said Little Red Riding Hood. She lives in a house in the middle of the forest. Ah, I'm going there too, said the wolf. Let's have a race. You go on the path and I'll go another way. All right, replied Little Red Riding Hood. I can walk fast the whole way, she thought. I'll win the race and then I'll be safe with Granny. So did Little Red Riding Hood win the race? No, she didn't. The wolf arrived before her and won the race. Quick as a flash, he jumped through her grandmother's window. Granny was scared and she ran out of the cottage. The wolf put on Grandma's nightie, her cap and her glasses and got into her bed. After that, he waited for Little Red Riding Hood. A short while later, Little Red Riding Hood saw her grandmother's house. She looked around, but she did not see the big bad wolf. Good, she thought. So I won the race. Hello, Granny, she shouted. Come in, my dear, called the big bad wolf from the bed. Little Red Riding Hood went in. She was surprised. Her grandmother looked rather unusual today. What big ears you've got, grandmother, she said. All the better to hear you with, my dear, whispered the wolf. What big eyes you've got, grandmother, she said. All the better to see you with, my dear, growled the wolf. And what a brown nose you've got, grandmother, she said. All the better to smell the cakes, my dear, sniffed the wolf. And what sharp teeth you've got, grandmother, she said. <laughs> All the better to eat you with, grinned the wolf. Quick as a flash, he jumped out of the bed. But Little Red Riding Hood was quicker. She jumped out of the window. Just at that moment, the woodcutter's son passed by Grandmother's house. He saw the open window. That's unusual, he thought. I hope there is nothing wrong here. He went inside and saw the wolf. Quick as a flash, the woodcutter's son took his stick and hit the big bad wolf. The wolf was scared and ran away. Little Red Riding Hood looked for Grandmother and found her unhurt in the garden. 
they both thanked the woodcutter's son. Then they ate all the cakes for tea and lived happily ever after.